sit together and discuss various things. Even though, even though I met him here in Kuwait back in the early 80s, and he was going back and forth to Kuwait, and in the 90s, I invited him to the medical school and stay with us very, uh, for a while. I enjoyed his advice and I learned a lot from his advice that I consider him a mentor. He considers me a friend, I consider him a friend and a mentor. It was through trade, but certainly now through medical education and medical services. And all of you, you've been in Kuwait now for, eight, for years contributing to the services here in Kuwait. Recently, over there to spend some time learning certain procedures. And he was very gracious. And again, we had a nice discussion with a group of doctors over there, and then from there we went to, uh, to I think, Nadu Temple Medical School, and again we met quality people over there. So, the contribution of the Indian doctors and Indians in general to Kuwait, every one of you here should be friends, not just because of the food, because they feel at home when they go to India, uh, to Indian restaurants. So, uh, I remember last time we were here, Dr. Hussain Deshti was with us, and he was joking a lot and making a lot of jokes in Indian, uh, one of the Indian languages, I don't know which one, and I remember him making a lot of jokes and all of you smiling and laughing, but I hope we didn't have uh, developed the way it is without the Indian doctors. A lot of you I know have contributed to it. Uh, some of you through their positions from the Ministry of Health and others from their positions in the medical school itself. I just mentioned uh, Dr. Bajaj. I know Dr. Jani was with you and I think he was the head of the uh, Indian Forum at one time. Uh, so KV Jani and others uh, you know, Chuk, Dr. Chuk, uh, Dr. School as well, not just uh, to the Ministry of Health. So I feel all medical knowledge you all have, yet every one of you look down to earth and very humble, and that's something that you all should be complimented for. And I certainly admire all Indians for that. So enjoy this evening. I welcome the visitor and I'm sure that we will all learn from your uh, talk later on. And uh, thank you very much for, uh, you know, I feel obliged the minute you make the move and call me. I always feel honored to be with you and feel honored to be of service to the Indian Doctors Forum. Thank you very much. Honorable President, Kuwait University Professor Abdul Latif Ahmad Al Badr, His Excellency Ambassador of India to Kuwait, Mr. Satish Simata, respected dignitaries, the special guest of the evening, Dr. D. Nageshwar Reddy, and members of the IDF, good evening. Today, I am honored and privileged to introduce the speaker of KMA IDF Oration 2013, Professor Dr. D. Nageshwar Reddy. Chairman Institute, Asian Institute of Gastroenterology, Hyderabad, India. Dr. Reddy graduated from Karnul Medical College with honors and gold medals, did master's from Medical College Madras, and DM from PGI Chandigarh. He subsequently worked as a professor of gastroenterology at the Andhra Pradesh Health Service Sciences and international workshops, and also chairs 17 national and international teleconferences. Dr. Reddy is one of the few Indian gastroenterologists invited to do live endoscopic surgery demonstrations on patients in workshops all over the world. 
He has done it in Brazil, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Japan, Italy, Germany, Belgium, Australia, United Kingdom, USA, and also in Saudi Arabia, Lebanon in our region. I hope next time he will do it in Kuwait. He is a visiting professor to Boston University Medical Center, Boston, Harvard Medical School, USA, Ira Same Hospital, and Fujikoka Fuji Hospital, Tokyo. For his excellence in the field of gastroenterology, he has been conferred internationally honorary fellowship and membership by New York Academy of Medical Sciences, Philippine Society of Digestive Endoscopy, Royal College of Physicians of Ireland, Dublin, Ireland, Singapore Intestinal Endoscopy, American College of Gastroenterology, and many more. In recognition towards contribution to gastroenterology, he has been awarded the highest medical award in India given by Indian Medical Council, Dr. B.C. Roy. And a well-known doctor. Dr. Reddy, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we diplomats are trained to speak on various occasions, but you know, some occasions really confound you. Today is such occasion. And Skelex doctors are going, who have spoken or will speak. I'm the only non-medical professional. I'm at the receiving end of your services. But thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, Professor Badar, you set the tone when you mentioned that India and Kuwait have a long history of relationship, which also covers medical services. I've been now here for about 20 months, and I can say that uh, Indian doctors, and I interact with them quite regularly, feel privileged <coughs> for the opportunity being given to them for serving uh, a very, very important aspect of Kuwaiti life, which is the medical services. And I also say with great pride that wherever I have gone, I have heard nothing but great praise for the kind of services that Indian medical professionals have rendered. I think this is, uh, this is uniformly applicable. And there is a great, great appreciation in Kuwait for all that you people have done. I think it only adds more responsibility on your shoulders because there is a great, great expectation from IDF and Indian doctors. India is today, besides a lot of other things that it is doing, including on the economic side, doing some path-breaking work in the medical science. And Dr. Red is one such pioneer of those services. Whether it is heart care, whether it's eye care, whether it's artificial limbs, some of the best places today to go for these services would be India. And I think it is being pioneered by people, as I said, by people like Dr. Reddy. And I think it's just a matter of time, perhaps a decade or so, that we will be the preferred center for medical research as well as medical services. Dr. Reddy, a very warm welcome to you in Kuwait. Uh, I suppose this is your first visit to Kuwait. You'll soon, as you, uh, as today's meeting and later when you go for your other meetings tomorrow, you'll find for yourself the feelings that Dr. Badal expressed, or the kind of affection that Kuwait has for India. And I'm sure visits like, uh, such as yours would help for the cement uh, relationship, particularly in the medical sector between India and Kuwait. Uh, I do, uh, we are now hopeful that a uh, visit from Kuwaiti medical delegation or from India will take place, I think, another month or so to take forward the MOU that we had signed last year. I think that will be yet another step in uh, strengthening medical relationship between the two countries. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, it's a pity that I have one other engagement and I must say I won't understand a word of what you're saying. <laughs> uh, so I'll have to excuse myself uh, at some stage. But uh, I wish all of you a very enjoyable listening to uh, a very, very eminent doctor from India. And I'm sure uh, he'll, there'll be enough thoughts that he'll leave behind for all of us to take our medical cooperation to next level. Thank you very much.